By the way, Jason Manzukas is here. You hey know him. Hello from the How Did This Get Made podcast as well. Welcome back to the show. Thrilled to be here. When you die, yeah. would you do you want to be buried? I want to be cremated, I believe, because I when I every, every time I go to a, a grave, I guess they call them graveyard or funeral home or whatever. I just think it's Ooh, graveyard such a, and funeral home. Not synonymous. Those would be two different places. Yeah. What, what's the difference between them? A graveyard. <laughs> what? And a funeral home. Well, meaning like, I mean, a, like, let's just, I mean a forest let's dial lawn. in, let's dial in first on yard versus home. <laughs> I mean a forest lawn type of place, which you can't just call it a graveyard. It's a cemetery. You? It's a cemetery. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, so you were so, looking for cemetery and instead found funeral home. Yeah, you where know. you go to the wake. Yes, yes, yeah. But is it Forest Lawn? The cemetery sure. has a funeral home. At Got it. it. So okay. that's where the confusion lied. I Let's see. not get into another uh, uh, argument that I'm going to win. Okay, because the, the viewers. Body. Let's not pillow this. The viewers have spoken. <laughs> Let's not pillow coffin this. <laughs> that the pillow coffin argument was decidedly in my favor. Uh, but uh, 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 I I look at those as a just a colossal waste of space i agree oh no same with me burn me up burn me like, up burn me up burn Let's me up uh, scotty burn me up <laughs> burn <laughs> up, <laughs> baby just to burn me down do you hope that also that um, video screen will have the last uh, <laughs> credits from something about mary is that what it is? yes um i no, for real burn me up get rid of me like i don't want to be in yeah. the earth i don't, I don't even want, want people i don't want to be in an urn that people have to look at i don't want people to feel like well if i want to um reconnect with my old friend jason who's passed away i gotta, I gotta go, go to a place, to a place no. where his body is currently decomposing Ugh. in the ground Ugh. no thank you burn me up let me be in everyone's memories yeah. like I, a little bit here's what i want i want a final how did this get made show and i want a little bit of my ashes to be sprinkled in every audience member's mouth. What do you want to ha- <laughs> do, you, do you just want Paul and June to be doing that or do you want your replacement to be hosting that one? No, well? I mean like they can use my replacement. Okay, so there no mourning period. Like the next episode you have a replacement. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I think that's appropriate. <laughs> I think it's probably fine. Uh, I want to be burned with you. So whoever way, dies first, great. just hold on to the other one. Yes. Well, I'm not going to be burned with you, but here's what I hey. will promise you. I will wait until I'm ready to go. I will keep you on ice, Casey Kasem style. <laughs> okay, thank you. Above ground, <laughs> ready to rock and roll. When you and say wh- Casey Kasem style, do you mean his dog being on ice? Or No, what? I mean his family didn't. Oh, that's um, right. Didn't bury didn't him. Bury, for, they for, kept his his wife kept his new wife kept shuffling him around. Not Gene Kasem, certainly. Her, his corpse shuffling his corpse around the world so his children couldn't get a hold of it. Doing the Kasem shuffle and process it. <laughs> and he still recorded every week's episode of the Top Forty. <laughs> it's incredible his commitment. <laughs> um, speaking of the Top Forty, I wanted to bring this up because uh, we, you and I were in uh, a conversation with a friend of ours before the show, and uh, he said his first CD that he bought was "Please Hammer Don't Hurt Him." Uh huh. <laughs> Who is the pussy who, I'm not talking about our friend, but who is the pussy who's saying that? You know, what part of Hammer's crew? Oh, 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 he's saying, please, Hammer, don't hurt him. Yeah. yeah who yeah. is this guy? And, and. Did, please, Hammer. Don't hurt him. Please, Hammer. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you want to be that guy? Because this seems like an audition. It kind of is, yeah. I'd like to see that Do you story. think that's the meant to be the delivery of please, Hammer, don't hurt him? Please, Hammer, don't hurt him. So this guy's crying. He's got a family. Oh. He, he's got kids. He's got a parent. My, my assumption is please, Hammer, don't hurt him is a reference to like, don't kill the audience too much by being so amazing. No, Hammer. that's what this guy thinks too. Oh, so he's just <laughs> weeping. Yeah. Begging on his knees, yeah. like Anthony. John Turturro in Miller's <laughs> Crossing. Have Look into heart. your heart. Look, Look into your, your heart. heart. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> That's not part of the movie, but interesting. That's everybody. part of Menace to Society. Um, well, uh, coming up later, we have the Cincinnati Playboy, but let's get to our first. Uh, uh, you're my co-host, so let's get to our first guest. What do you say? Uh, I would he, love it. He's an old friend of mine. I love I that. I decided to have an old friend on the show. Terrific. I, uh, do I know him? I know a lot of your old dear friends. You do not know this one, okay. I don't believe. Uh, please welcome to the show, Bullets Jackson. Scott. Hi, Bullets. I'm getting the band back together. Whoa! What? We were just, what? We were just talking what? about Not singing. a music band. So. Oh. I was going to oh, say, wait. were you guys in a band? I didn't I know w- you were ever in a band. I was in a band. One was- last job. Okay. Scott. Ooh, a heist? Wait, you're we're, we're doing one last job. What's the Scott, job? I told you. <laughs> one last job, Scott. Uh, wait, when did you, you, just, you mean I you just, told me just, just five ago. seconds ago? Uh, me repeating myself? I told you, Scott. 
We have one last job, Scott. Let's go. Well, Drop all this podcast shit. Let's get out of here. Okay, uh, I can I can cover this. I don't want to leave it to Jason. I can I cover this. I mean, can you what's just the, wait like an hour? Bullets, maybe? What, bullets. What's the likelihood that Scott will die on this job? <laughs> Scott is pretty high. Well, then I'm glad we had the conversation we had. Yeah, I guess so. Look, I uh, what kind of job do you want to do? I don't remember Scott, exactly what we used to do. One last heist, Scott. Yeah, what uh, what are we heisting? I don't. Uh, We're stealing Blue Boy. Blue Boy. <laughs> what is Blue Boy? <laughs> Blue Boy is a famous painting at the Huntington Library <laughs> Garden here in Pasadena. Oh, painting. well, so it's nearby. <laughs> it's pretty close. Blue uh, Blue Boy. That's right, know Scott. How much it's worth? It's priceless. Whoa, priceless. Is it really priceless? That's right, Scott. This They've is... been renovating it for over a year. They've been renovating the painting? <laughs> That's right. This is tempting. Really, is that how you wait, you renovate? Like, yeah, you can, you've can. you seen renovating uh, painting renovations. Remember that <laughs> that uh, Jesus one that came out? So oh my weird? god, yeah. that was amazing. Looks like a big smiley face. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like the Watchmen cover. That's right. Now, uh, Scott, are you ready to go? I don't know. I mean, couldn't we wait like an hour for traffic to Scott, die down? I have gotten so much of the band back together, and you're kind of the final piece. Who else? Who Bullets, do you have? what do you got? Well, it's a big, it's a big band. Yeah. There's like 60, 67 of us? 67 60, people okay, that I'm going to update painting? you. I'm going to update you. You've <laughs> definitely got a leak. Well, well, you I'm can't sorry. have 67 members of the team without somebody being no way. Work, either working for the police Scott, you or remember, telling the police. No, Scott, you remember working with this team. We were as tight as... I don't recall exactly. I mean, we're friends from, you know, back in the day. Back in the day, Scott. The yeah. crime days. Wait, when was this? How long do, have you guys known each other? Back in what day? Scott. I remember it was just yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday. Uh, uh, what was I doing yesterday? I no, know. but it was a long time ago. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh But I remember it as if it was just yesterday. Got it. Oh, wow. Okay, got it, got it. Well, got Scott it. was our distraction guy. I, I don't remember. What, what did I do to distract, distract well, people? Well, you'd walk it. Okay, so we one time we robbed. You remember when we robbed that bank, Scott? I remember being at a bank. Okay, so Scott walks into the bank, and he's doing a very funny old man character. Oh, and he's I, like, I, I, it's funnier when you're younger. Like I, yeah. if I were to do it now, it would be like, Oh look, I'm five years older. It's kind of not but that when, fun. But yeah. when I'm younger, it was like, it, it was, was hilarious. hilarious. It was really and would funny. you, so the intent was to be hilarious. So you're oh, yeah. the distraction. The diversion was comedy. Com- comedy. Scott which is, is why, what we called it. We, exactly. Which is why you grabbed Scott Ackerman. That's right. We grabbed comedy Scott for the greatest distractions in history. I mean, what, I don't understand Scott. Why you're so confused. This was your life, Scott. Well, I remember being at a bank and you guys saying like, hey, do your old man character. Yeah. And then a series of interconnected events led to us walking out of that bank with a bunch of fucking money. You guys got Whoa. money from that? Hell yeah, Scott. Why didn't you give any to me? Oh, were you not? Did you not come to the? Okay. that That's all B because you I get. The, you didn't give me the details for the after heist? I, okay. So I do get the band together before, but I forgot. I'm what supposed about the to, after, I'm after supposed heist? to also get the band together after the heist. And I think I might have left you off. You're email. really good at getting the band together before I, the heist. That's, it seems. that's really the you Basically, job. it looks like you show up and you go, are you in or are you out? And then most of the time, people drop what they're doing right away and come with me, Scott. I, I, I'm in the middle of a show. I can't really do that. I didn't even know you got money. I, I, I don't profit from these. Scott. And by, by the way, how do you split something priceless you up were, 67 okay, Scott, ways? Can, Scott, I'm going to interrupt for just a second. Yeah. It's like we yeah, all get we 67 lunch, priceless We were shares? at lunch we'll just the other day. We were at lunch just the other day. I saw a pretty lady. Said, I didn't know what to say. You said, <laughs> you know what, man? I don't have any adventures anymore. You were complaining about how, yeah. how staid and kind of on track your life has become. Do a podcast per week. Mm-hmm. Dinner with your ex-girlfriend. Go to cool a up. meeting. Go to a meeting. You know, pop, pop, pop. Everything has become so regimented and, and you structured were like, I in my really life. just want a little bit of chaos in my life yeah. like I used to have. Yeah, and I should do boom, drugs again. Here is Bullets Jackson offering <laughs> oh, you an or, opportunity. Or bullets. Yeah. Scott, I'm offering you the perfect opportunity. This could be the highest. What's your is plan? Is it the perfect crime? It well, Jason, hold on. Let me think about it. If you go there, okay. Jason, I, I think it might be the perfect crime. Well, you hadn't thought about this I yet? I didn't. I thought it was pretty good, but I just put all the pieces together. The equation kind of equals the perfect crime. What, are, what is the plan and what is my part of it? Am all I right, still Scott. the distraction You're guy? You're still the distraction guy, of course, and that's your skills. What kind, of, what kind of character do I have to do now? Well, that's up to you, Scott. Oh, really? Ooh, what do you think right. you might want to do? Choice. Well, I can't do the old man. Maybe I could do a baby, though, the reverse. Well, you could do the old man now and not have to do any of the makeup or hair graying. Well, now- Wait a minute. What if I'm the guy who's talking to Hammer? <laughs> you could be... Please, you, yeah, can, but, 
You please <laughs> have it in your heart. Look into your heart. Don't hurt him. Okay, let me think this out for a second. They hang up Blue Boy after a long restoration period. There's a huge crowd of are people. They, when watching. are they? Hang, they hang. They're they hang it up, it up today? at five p.m. Today. Five p.m. So they've restored it after the renovation. Yeah, they've they, restored they, it they as well. Re- they oh. renovated so it's restoration, a restoration along with a renovation. But then they renovated it. Yeah. So like, what what does that entail? Like doing the uh, like the wood behind it. Yeah. Their- they they put the they changed the wood. They kind of just like dusted it a bit. Yeah. That's kind of what they did. Scott. Okay. Now they now, now let's go through this. Now now there's a bunch of people watching. They put up old boy. Okay. Okay. And then Blue Boy or Old Boy? I think it's Blue old Boy. boy. <laughs> old Boy, the Korean <laughs> movie. It's old Boy is something. We're not stealing Old Boy, guys. Are we? Scott, I can't we're believe stealing the original hold on, hold print on, hold for on. Old Boy. Are we stealing Old Boy? <laughs> no, Old Boy is the code name for Blue Boy, Scott. Oh, Jesus. of course. Do you I... not remember the way we do things, Scott? Codes, right? <laughs> Slightly confusing code names. Right. Okay. Oh. So, so why are they putting up Old Boy at five p.m.? They're putting up Old Boy and not nine a.m. Well, because that is when they close. Oh. So they're Dad. having a big press event. Where Tomorrow? A bunch of, tonight, tonight. At five. When oh. they close. So I they're putting like it up at five? Right now, over this, like, the visuals should be being shown. Like, yeah. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 right. Dun, yeah. Dun, when we're hearing this dun, in VO, dun, dun, but we're seeing the, the crime in progress. Dun, exactly. Dun, dun, okay. First of all, we've got a man at the ticket taker station. He's going to be making sure you get in for free without This might be the song, by the way. This is pretty good. So dun, you'll dun, get dun, in for free and not have to pay because we got a guy dun, on the inside dun, of the ticket dun, taker. Dun, 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 and you'll walk into the museum. Oh, wait, I don't have to pay because of why? Oh, we have a guy on the inside as a ticket taker. Oh, as a ticket taker. He's one of 67. I'll take your ticket. <laughs> exactly. Dun, dun, dun. And then, Scott, you're going to walk into dun, the food dun, dun. court. Now, this is okay. a very important part of the plan. Bullets, okay. I'm going to stop you right oh, there. Okay, okay, yeah. This is the Huntington Garden <laughs> food court. Yeah, they got... You, what do they got there? They got, they, like, run it down for me. They got coffee. Dun, dun, dun. They got bananas. Orange Julius? Dun, dun, dun. They don't got Orange Julius, but they have orange scones. Is there a <laughs> Sabaro? No, there's not a Sabaro. You know, maybe it's not a food court. So there's no boom, licensed boom, boom, restaurants boom, boom, there. Boom, boom, boom. There's no licensed restaurants so yet. So it's less of a food court, more of a snack bar? Exactly. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. But we got our Popeye's guy on the dun, inside dun, dun. applying for an application to be inside dun, dun. the food court. Well, who's the Popeye's guy? He currently works at Popeye's? He's one of 67, Scott. <laughs> He's our Popeye's guy. Are there anyone who is two of 67? <laughs> no. Is no. there the a twin, set of the twins? twins are not involved? No, the twins. Are twins are dead. Twins? You guys don't have twins on no. the team? The twins are dead to us because they didn't send us a Christmas card. Dun, oh. dun, dun. So, anyways, the Popeyes. Are we guy, flashing dun, back dun, to the Christmas card dun, deliberation right now? We dun, can go back dun, to the dun, Christmas card. Should thing. we send him a dun, Christmas dun, dun, card this year? Dun, 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 nah, he'll probably he'll be fine if we don't send it. We're not going to get kicked out of the 69. And up to the vents. I'm in the vents looking down. Dun, 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 These motherfuckers. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I, like, dun, I liked dun, it better when there were 69 of us, I gotta say. Yeah, we should, we right. should get those twins back. That's what I'm saying. Okay, 69 boom, with boom, twins? Boom. Scott, if we could get Old Boy, a.k.a. Boom, Blue boom. Boy, I'm sure we could attract the twins back and Guys, we could be 69 I'm not gonna lie. Again. I bet we can get the Sklars in on this. <laughs> That's who we're talking about. The of twins. course. Two the guys, twins. they say the lines all together at the same time. Dun, dun, dun. Twins. So here's Scott. This is your part. Dun, dun. Okay. Blue boys hanging on the wall. Dun. Dun. Of, the, of the snack bar? Uh, no, we've, we've actually dun, dun, now gone to the museum dun, dun. section oh, okay. of the library. But why did I go to the snack bar? Uh, to talk to the Popeye's guy. Boom, I just talked to him? Yeah, he's going to slip you a, a razor blade. Oh, because they wouldn't have let me. They wouldn't have let you in with the razor through blade. Through the yeah, exactly. Okay, and cool. if it goes, if so, that's in case the job goes wrong, you can kill yourself. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You put that in your mouth, you bite against it, and Dude, then that would kill you. Bite no, no, against? No, it? no. This is this is the way it's hidden. And bite then, with the grain. And then if anyone catches you, you swallow it. <laughs> you bite right. You you chomp right through your palate. <laughs> you chop through your palate, then you chew it up and you swallow it. <laughs> you bite then, your own and tongue. And then it out. takes you like a week for your stomach to disintegrate. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Right, Scott. Dun, You're dun, starting dun, to remember. Dun, so anyways, you take that razor blade, you put it in your mouth, and you start heading to the museum. This is a good song, by the way. You take the razor blade, and you put it in your mouth. Dun, dun, dun. I also like the bass-like sort of solos you guys have been having. 
really good. Those are really good. So anyways, Blue Boy gets put up on the wall. Scott walks in and is his baby character. Okay. Right? Wait, so did I walk into the museum in my baby character? Or did I change after the food court? God damn it, Scott. I didn't even think about a change. All right, so Scott. I'd love to do like three changes. Okay, okay. First change. Like Cher would. You jump right into the ladies' bathroom, Scott. And why the ladies' bathroom? Because you come out as an old woman. Do you know where all of the paintings are? And then a boy points, Blue Boy's right over there. And then you go into the men's room and then change again. And this time you come out as Jimmy Stewart. Oh, hey there. Oh, Mary, you're you're an old maid. Oh, Merry Christmas, you're old building. Wait a minute, is that the ghost of Jimmy Stewart? Everybody run! Mr. Potter! Mr. Potter! (laughs) Run! That's the ghost of Jimmy Stewart! Then you go in. should be more than. (laughs) Go ahead. Sorry. (laughs) No, no. Go ahead. And then (laughs) everyone's scared. Everyone's scared of the ghost of Jimmy Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, I was a Jimmy Carter. Oh, no. Anyways, Wait, could I do Jimmy Carter? Hey, no, if you he want to go back. He's still alive. <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and now you pop into dun, dun, the dun. actual, the, you hop into the bathroom that is gender dun, neutral. Dun, dun. Oh, good. And this time you pop out as the baby. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. So your third costume change. Are you satisfied? Uh, dee, 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 okay, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good with three. Dee, 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 and then they put the dee, painting dee, on the wall. Whose baby is this? Al Sharpton runs in. He's one of 67. Wait, Al Sharpton? is part of the crew or someone playing How do you Sharpton? not remember, Scott? Oh. Al Sharpton himself That's is a part of the crew. Right. Sharpton's in the crew. He's our dude. media guy. Our crew had He's a very guy. big jumpsuit budget. <laughs> yeah, there were so many jumpsuits and they were mostly track his. Suits. <laughs> well, they were jumpsuits and track suits. He yeah. called them jumpsuits because he jumped in them. Now, <laughs> he was a great guy. Exactly. Back this, in the day. I this, loved him. He, any suit he wore, he called it a jumpsuit. See, and Scott, he would just jump around. Go you're remembering, me. Scott. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then he looks out and he says, whose baby is this? And then everyone's like, I don't know whose baby this is. I don't know whose baby this is. Wait a minute. That, is that, he's wearing blue. Is that a blue boy? So that's kind of funny because blue boy. So like, part of the all- plan is to convince people the boy in the painting has come to life? Yes, exactly. <laughs> like a purple rose of Cairo situation? Exactly, I know we're not Scott. supposed to talk about Woody, but is Woody involved? <laughs> Scott? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He has been applying to be a part of the crew for a very long time. And he we wanted have, to be 70? We have re- respectfully said no. <laughs> he is canceled. Good. He okay. is He's canceled. canceled out of the crew. Great. So no Woody Allen. If anyone was wondering, he is not a part of the crew. Okay. <laughs> so so I'm the you baby are, come to are. life. Yes. And everyone laughs, you said? Everyone laughs, but then they get scared again because they dun, said, dun, dun. the ghost of Jimmy Stewart, a baby dun, come dun, to dun, life. Dun. Is this some sort of Ghostbuster situation? Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Right? Answer the call. Dun, dun. Answer the call. And then, so and then, are people excited about a new Ghostbusters people, and as respectful as they were about the last one? Exactly. They start talking about the new Ghostbusters. It wouldn't ra- ruin anyone's childhood. They think oh, this good. time it's going to be a little bit different. They really like that it's centered on Egon for some reason. And everyone just starts to slowly walk out. In like, slow motion? Yeah, slow motion walk out. So they're all doing like Yeah, something about the ghost can I just say, can I just say, the, the, there's a little too much music going on. Oh, really? <laughs> you think this is overscored? I, I think it might be overscored. But really? Because, yeah, I think it might be. Are just, we, aren't we still in the montage? We are in the montage, for sure. But Because <laughs> I'll do much chiller scoring when we're out of the montage in yeah. actual scene. Okay, okay. We need less cues. Less cues. <clears throat> okay, got it. Okay. Got it. All right, so everyone think they're walking out in slow motion. I think we could probably get like a slow tap because everyone's walking. Oh, now you want oh, music. Oh, so now, wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. God, just like a director. Look, I, okay, Jesus. I'll be honest. I am not this the director. This guy is a lot. I'll oh. be honest. I'm not the director. The director is what is it? What kind of music do you want, sir? Is William Friedkin still in the crew? <laughs> you, I don't know who that is. He's let a, me, let he's me a check. director. Let me check. Hold on. Billy Freeds? Billy, Billy Freeds. William Freeds. From the, uh, he French is connection. in the crew. I don't actually know him, but he is a part of He's a new ad to he's the crew. He's a very famous director. Maybe he's directing this one. I mostly do HR. <laughs> 
<laughs> you recruit so people. Internal complaints. Into and the so, yeah. so you have no part of this. No, 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 no. Do no, you thing. guys do like a sexual harassment seminar before oh, yeah. the whole heist starts? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, there's a mandatory. It's, a big, it's like a small business. There's 67 of us. <laughs> sure. 69. So I come, 69 sometimes, but that kind of can be problematic. If you're well. gonna be so close at 67, you gotta go for 69. Even though that more. does encourage jokes that would probably exactly yeah. get people into HR trouble. I, and and I don't like to get people into HR trouble. Because yeah. we're criminals. HR trouble. So I'm assuming... HR trouble stuff. I'm assuming everyone backs up, uh, and then we're mm. free to tear the painting down, or just take it off the wall, or what Oh, do we do? no, no. We oh, it's more complicated Yeah, we that? gotta bring in our... Dun, dun, dun. All right, so then our axe guy comes in. Axe guy? Yeah, he's got... Axe body spray? Axe body. Yes, he's got axe body spray. Okay. So he comes so in... So he sprays it everywhere, no one wants to come back so, in. Oh, everybody gets so turned on. Oh, no, they don't want to come in. <laughs> they don't want to come in, but if they stay in, they get turned on and want to fuck, then they're distracted. Yeah. Stuff. Okay, so the best of both worlds. The best of both worlds. Yeah. Yeah. the best... Of <laughs> both worlds. Can we license this for the soundtrack? Yes. This is great. Put this in. Van Halen, put it in. <laughs> so now everyone's distracted. <laughs> now we got to bring in our fingerprint guy. Fingerprint guy. He comes in and wipes down all the fingerprints so there's no evidence. Oh, so okay. he's an so anti fingerprint guy. So he's more of like an anti fingerprint guy. <laughs> yeah. So none of us are wearing gloves and we're just cavalier about putting our fingerprints if, wherever we. Well, if you've got a fingerprint guy. guy. <laughs> sure, yeah. We've got a fingerprint guy. If you come in wearing gloves, they know you're trying to steal something. Uh, well, I mean, it is the winter, though. Did, oh, wait a minute. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, maybe we could get rid of this guy. Dun, dun, dun. Skip this whole fingerprint cover up dun, dun, and maybe dun, dun, just dun. go to the chemical castration section. Okay. Uh, what now? Oh, yeah, we all got to be chemically castrated before we Temporarily. Leave. Temporarily. Wait, you can temporarily chemically castrate yourself? I'm assuming, isn't... Is there yeah. an antidote? It just, like, isn't it pills? You just gotta top, stop taking the pills. Yeah, you just gotta stop taking the pills. Oh, okay. So uh, we all take we, uh, six six. Are you doses. familiar with Give Me That Pill? <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that before, I think yes. the deal would That's then be... That's what it was about? I think the deal would then be, uh, don't give don't me that Don't give me that pill? pill? Okay, got it. You say, give me that pill until you don't want it, then you say, don't give me that pill. Why are we all... We need to be chemically castrated oh, because you, of the Axe body spray? No distractions. We would be too turned on no in order to... Okay, I what if? How many times have you been on a heist? Mm-hmm. And you fall in love. Thank you. <laughs> Happens a lot. Thank you know, you. you fucking fall in love with yeah. somebody who's there, and you're like, God damn it! If I was not tuned into this frequency, mm-hmm. I'd be able to steal so this much is a good better. Point. All it's right, true. All right, so the next part. Remember, of the plan? in heat, yeah. you have to be ready to walk away from a situation. Walk away at any in point. thirty seconds. At any point, if the, you feel the police are coming around the corner. That, dun, dun, dun. that is incredible. That's why I said, Scott, you should be running dun, with dun, me dun, right dun. now, Scott. Can't believe we're still doing a goddamn dun, podcast. Dun, dun. So, anyways, I here's mean, what happens. In this. the montage, we are ripping it off. We oh, are yeah. doing. Okay, America's no, it's, a, it's not like we're here. Okay, you know what? We're kind of doing like a dry run. This is actually very helpful. Yeah, it's helping you at least it's helping think me through the plan. Out. Here's what I'll say: We do need a glove guy. <laughs> when somebody <laughs> animates this, it will go to Sundance. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, dun, so dun, dun, when, dun, after we're chemically castrated, all dun, the very dun, dun, cool dun, dun, and like dun, dun, powerful, dun, dun, smart, sexy women come in. Okay. And this is why we had to get chemically castrated. Are they part of the sixty nine? Oh yeah, there's six of them. Six out mm-hmm. of the sixty. We call them the sexy six. <laughs> okay, I love this. <laughs> so they, first of all, they have their own branding. They do, but it is a nightmare for HR. I will say, I, as yeah, the I person who's that. doing those meetings, and then I have to then introduce them as the sexy six. <laughs> I feel like, to me, I'm sort of. Anyways, we're back to the plan. The sexy dun, six dun, come dun, in, dun, and then they start dun, 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 slowly dun, taking the painting off the walls. Dun, 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 dun. So how slow? As slow as you can make <laughs> that hi hat. Why are they? <laughs> They're moving so slow. Everybody slow down. And then you realize the painting's gone. Everybody's gone. And you just woke up because you've been drugged. Bum, 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 bum. By our drug guy. So the drug guy has drugged you. It's okay. now 24 hours later. Right. Okay. So the whole team, once the painting gets got, the yeah. whole team goes into a into a, a, we're a we drug. Dream- we're re-dreaming. Everybody gets, everybody gets forced into a medical-induced you get coma. You fully into a medical-induced coma, and what you remember of the crime is actually just a just fragmented a dream. dream. Oh, oh yeah, okay. this is a total recall so, scenario. Exactly. You get so put that, into a total recall scenario? That's damn right. So that when you're interrogated about it, you, you, don't, you don't know what's going on. Damn yeah. thing. It sounds like you this just are remembering brilliant. the plot of a movie. <laughs> this is brilliant. So, Scott, are you ready to go? 
Uh, no, I still have about like another half hour left. All right, maybe show. I can wait. We'll see. Yeah, when we, we do need to go here. to a break, is that cool? Yeah, we can get so there can by. I think we can get there by five half hour. Yeah, right, and I'll, traffic's kind of bad at this point. We just kind of skip the one thirty four if that's cool. Like we'll we'll go through Griffith Park probably. Griffith Park. Okay. Yeah. I'll okay. text the team. All right, great. <laughs> text the team. Are, the you, are you guys on all, all on a WhatsApp? <laughs> we're on a, a WhatsApp. We're all in a big group. Me and we send a lot of memes to each other. It's funny as hell. I gotta get on this.